Good day, my audience. You welcome once more to Dr. Fred Academy. Today we shall be looking at the equine skull. That is a skull of the horse. We shall be looking at the various structures present on the skull. Here is the local crest. Here is the occipital bone, part of the occipital bone. This is a parietal bone. Of course, it is a paired bone. Between the parietal bone and occipital bone is a suture. Okay, a suture exists between the occipital bone and the parietal bone, and this suture is called the parieto occipital suture. This is the interparietal bone. The interparietal bone. Here is the frontal bone. There is a suture that exists between the two parts of this of the frontal bone. Okay, this suture is called the frontal suture. These are the frontal bones, and this suture is called the frontal suture. Here is the nasal bone. The nasal bone. They are also paired, and the suture that exists between the two pairs, between the two parts of the nasal bone is called the nasal suture. There is also a suture that exists between the nasal bone and the frontal bone. This suture is called the nasofrontal suture okay the nasofrontal suture this is the supraorbital foramen the supraorbital foramen down here we have the infraorbital foramen the infraorbital foramen this is the body of the incisive bone Okay, the body of the incisive bone. This is the foramen incisivum. The foramen incisivum. These are the incisor teeth. Okay, now having said this, let's look at the lateral side of this bone. The lateral side. Okay, let's start from here. This is the occipital condyle. The occipital condyle, okay, it is a bone that articulates with the atlas to form the atlantocipital joint in a live animal. This is the paramastoid process of occipital bone. The paramastoid process of occipital bone, okay. Now, this is the mastoid process of temporal bone. The mastoid process of temporal bone you can also call it the the petromastoid part of temporal bone petromastoid part of temporal bone okay now we also have here the posterior process of squamous temporal bone the posterior process of squamous temporal bone we have here the external acoustic process okay this is the external acoustic process now inside is the external acoustic meatus the external acoustic meatus this is the hyoid process okay this is the hyoid process the hyoid process okay this is zygomatic process of the temporal bone okay the zygomatic process of the temporal bone okay here we have the post glenoid process of temporal bone the post glenoid process of temporal bone okay and down here we have the glenoid cavity of squamous temporal bone the glenoid cavity of squamous temporal bone. We also have the condyle of squamous temporal bone. The condyle of squamous temporal bone. Okay. We have here the supraorbital process of the frontal bone. Okay. The supraorbital process of the temporal of the frontal bone. Sorry. Okay. All right. 
here we have the temporal part of frontal bone okay this is the temporal part of the frontal bone okay and coming over to this place we have the orbital part of frontal bone all right the orbital part of the frontal bone now this is a fossa sacai lacrimalis okay the fossa sacai lacrimalis okay now this is also the orbital surface of lacrimal bone okay this is the lacrimal bone here the lacrimal bone is here this way so this is the lacrimal bone so this is actually the orbital surface of the lacrimal bone and then this elevation here is the lacrimal tubercle the lacrimal tubercle okay this is the zygomatic process of the malar bone the zygomatic process of what the malar bone and then this is a maxillary tuberosity this is a facial crest now this is the rostral end of the facial crest okay like we said earlier on this is the infraorbital foramen and then this is the nasal maxillary notch okay it's a notch formed okay between the nasal bone and the maxillary bone so it is called the nasal maxillary notch this is the body of the premaxillae okay this is the body of the premaxillae okay and then this is the nasal process of the premaxillae the nasal process of the premaxillae okay having done this now let's turn to the ventral side of the skull let's look at the ventral aspect of the skull okay starting from this point we have here the external occipital protuberance okay this is the this is the the foramen magnum okay this is the foramen magnum the foramen magnum this is the occipital condyle this is the paramastoid process okay the paramastoid process this is the tympanic bulla the tympanic bulla okay now this is the muscular processes the muscular processes now this is the basilar parts or the basal part of the occipital bone the basal part of the occipital bone okay these are the basilar tubercles these are the basilar tubercles at the junction of the basal part of the occipital bone and the body of the sphenoid this is the body of the sphenoid the body of the sphenoid now this point this is actually the pterygoid bone the pterygoid bone this is the pterygoid bone okay the pterygoid bone this part from this point down to this up to this elevation is the pterygoid process of the sphenoid bone the pterygoid process of the sphenoid bone while this part is the pterygoid process of the palatine bone okay the pterygoid process of the palatine bone okay now these are the hamulus of pterygoid the hamulus of pterygoid okay these are the ala foramen okay they are the ala foramen okay these are the alveolar tuberosity the alveolar tuberosity okay of course these are the maxillary tuberosity this is the maxillary tuberosity they are the alveolar tuberosity okay now to this point this is the palatine bone okay the palatine bone and inside here are foramen called the 
the Rostra Palatine Foramen. The Rostra Palatine Foramen. And these are the Palatine Groove. Okay, these are the Palatine Groove. Okay, this here is the Palatine process of the Premaxilla. The Palatine process of Premaxilla. Okay, let's look at uh, some foramen present within the orbit, okay, within the orbit of this bone, of the skull. Okay, first of all here, we have the first one here called the ethmoid foramen. The ethmoid foramen. Secondly, we have the optic foramen. And then lastly, we have the orbital foramen. All right. We shall stop here today. Thank you for listening. And uh, I wish to let you know that we have more videos in stock. So do well to subscribe to this channel, Dr. Fred Academy. And make sure you don't forget to click on the notification icon for subsequent videos. Please do well to comment. Thank you.